Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Had somebody send me a message regarding uh, capturing a MAC address. I wasn't quite sure if they meant capture in the literal sense, as a capture filter, or if they meant a display filter. So I'm going to go through them both with you. We'll see uh, how it works out. First things first, you need to know your MAC address. So one way to do it, if you have uh, Windows Vista or higher, you can do get MAC-V, and from there it will actually show you all the MAC addresses. Alternatively, you can type ipconfig slash all and get your MAC address that way. In this case, I want my MAC address here. So I'm going to mark, highlight the data, press enter. Now it's in my buffer. From there, I'm going to go to Wireshark, control K or capture options. And from here, it's simple. The syntax is ether, host, and I will paste my MAC address in there. And from there, I'll hit start. So now, continue without saving. It doesn't take long. Just wait around and you'll see that... Uh, some traffic will come in. If you need to force it or if you get impatient like myself, you can always come back here and just click on anything you want, see a bunch of traffic. I'm going to stop that now. So that's how you do a capture filter for a MAC address. Now, let's do the second one. The second one is a display filter or post capture. And from there, we're going to go to statistics, endpoints. And from the endpoint report, you see their Ethernet. These are all MAC addresses. You can also turn off the name resolution if you want the raw MAC address. And I'm going to pick this guy. Right click, apply as filter selected. As soon as you do that, it actually puts a syntax. So it's eth.addr, eth.addr, adder. Double equals, and then your MAC address. And there you go. So that's it, really. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.